Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I want to show you guys how to do some basic transformations on your image and by transformation I mean things like resize, flip, rotate, um, like stretch. So let's go ahead and get started and I think I'm going to use this picture, me as a baby for this tutorial. So I'll name it baby, baby Bucky, image, open, baby.jpg and let's just go ahead and show this first so baby show alright so let's see what we're starting with so this is the basic image that we're going to be manipulating and the first transformation I want to show you guys is just how to resize it so let me actually see so the image size of this is 450 by 341 but say we we're making like a website or something or just a piece of software and we wanted to take an image and make it square so it fit perfectly into our profile. Now what we can do is actually cut out a square from somewhere in the middle and I already showed you guys how to cut it but if you just wanna pretty much take the image and resize it into a square this is what you do. Just name this square baby and I'll set this equal to baby which is your original file, your original photo and the function is called resize and what it does is it takes a tuple so make sure you add these double parentheses right here this these outside ones are for the function parameters and these inside ones is pretty much the tuple itself and the tuple is of course just the size that you want to resize it to so I want to take that original image and resize it to 250 by 250 so now the square baby if we show it check it out so that was our original one, and this is our resized baby, Bucky Square Baby. So that is how you accomplish that. Now, another thing I want to show you guys is what if you want to flip it upside down or flip it either horizontally or vertically? Well, let's name this one Flip Baby. And in order to do this, of course, take your original baby object, In the function is actually called transpose and this is actually the you use the same function whether you want to flip it or rotate it so what you can do is you can um, call this property of actually I wonder if it pops up yep so flip left right and flip top bottom are two different ways that you can flip it of course left to right along that axis and top bottom this is pretty much vertical and horizontal. Probably would be easier if it said that. Actually, I think I like left, right, and top, bottom better. So pretty much take the left and put it where the right is. Pretty simple. So now, if we show flip baby, we can see our three different transformations. That was our original one. That was the square one and this is the flip baby. Now remember I flipped it left and right so that's why it didn't flip upside down that would be top bottom left and right means pretty much just flip it along that axis. So let me just close all of these. This is getting kinda of messy and the last one I want to show you guys is this. I might as well type it out. So you can do spin baby and what this does is if you call baby.transpose you can call image dot rotate now as you can see as soon as I type R we have a couple properties that pop up rotate 180 270 and 90 so let me just go ahead and rotate it in 90 degrees actually if we rotated this image 180 degrees think about what it does it pretty much just takes it and flips it upside down so it achieves the same effect as flip top bottom but if we just rotate it in 90 degrees then show you guys what it does right here it'll look like it's on its side pretty much so let's run all those again and check it out original one square flipped and rotated pretty sweet so those are just some real quick simple transformations and I spelled square wrong huh, interesting but anyways there you go again to square it up it's resize and for your other transformations you use the transpose class or excuse me the function so 
Well, there you go. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to convert one image mode to another image mode. It's going to be sweet, so I'll see you then.